Hi all. Today we'll see how to create a simple data entry form in a visual builder. So this will will create a form where you can enter some details. These details will be saved in the business object which we have created once you click on the save button in the form. So let's start. First click on this new application provide the application name so here the application name I am giving it as registration form and in the application template I am selecting it as Oracle SAS R13 light theme for VBCS Generally, in all the organizations, this will be the theme we'll be using when you are integrating your VBCS application with SAS application. So select this application and click on select. And once the application template got selected, click on finish button. This will create you the web application. So once the application got created, first we'll go to the root page. As you see, when the application got created, it has created with some default layout. This is the default layout which you will get once the application got created. So we want to remove this default layout. So to remove this default layout, Go to root pages, click on shell, go to page designer, go to code. Now first we will remove the footer part from here. So just remove the footer part and then we will remove the header part. So just select the header part and delete so this will remove you the default layout that has been created now you can see only the page with no default layout and which has only some text so now this this text is also has a default page which oracle has provided so we'll remove this page as well in the next step now our next step is to create the business object here the business object is nothing but the table so if you create any form we need a table right to store the data so similarly here we are creating a business object so to create a business object click on this business object and then it will ask you to create a new so you can click uh, plus button here as I don't have any business object now, it is showing the plus button here. So if you have already any business object, uh, it will not show this plus button for you. In that case, you need to click on this plus button here. So if you put an icon on the plus button, it is just showing it as a create. So click on that create. You want to create a business object. So click on business object and provide the name of the business object. Here I am taking it as a registration table and then click on create so whatever the name you want to provide you can provide that particular name and then click on create this will create you the business object so you can see the business object name here and this is a overview page and this is a fields page and this is a security page so if you want only this particular role based people want to access this business object you can restrict it and if you want to add some any of the roles you can do it and this is the endpoints that has been created over the business object you have get post get one update delete and if you have any data in the business object that will be shown here so let's go to the fields first and then create some fields in this business object oracle will automatically create some default fields here 
so these default fields are nothing but here id so this id is a auto populated id whenever a new record got created an id will be generated automatically and these are the who columns like who has created by when it was created when it was last updated and who updated it so these are all the default columns you will get from the oracle now we will create our own columns so here i am creating some columns so first column i am creating it as first name i'm creating it as first name has the name is a string i'm just selecting it as a string and click on create field so if you see here the first name got created and next i am creating it as last name so it is a text field so i am just click selecting the text and click on create so last name field got created and next i am creating the date of birth date of birth So here I am taking it as date field and click on create field. Now we will create a next column as mobile number and I am taking it as number data type and next we will create as email address. let it be the text field only or else you have a email type as an email you can use that and even for the mobile number also you have the mobile number as a type so let's use it so click on create field mobile number so you can use this mobile number field for it and next that's it i guess first name last name okay that's fine so these are all the fields we have created so if you want to do some like if you want to make the field as required or if you want to make this field as an indexable or if you want to make this field as an unique you can make all the constraints here so that they, it will not allow you to enter the duplicate id so i'm making mobile number as my unique identifier and as a required field this object got created now we need to create a form to enter the data into this business object to do this we need to create a front end form uh, that is nothing but a vbcs form where you will be able to enter the data so to do this go to the web application go to the main now click on this plus button to create a new page so name your page so here i am naming my page as registration registration form registration form click on create so this will create you the blank page now go click on main again go to settings here if you see the default page is tagged to main start so we want to change it to the registration form as our default page so from the drop down list select registration form so now your default page will be the registration form so now we'll start creating the uh, front end form for it before creating the form we need to do one more thing here so the first thing is we need to create the type go to types click on from endpoint to create a type from an endpoint 
select your endpoint here our endpoint is the business object which you have created so just down the things and here we want to post the data into the business object that is we want to save whenever you hit on the save button the data should be saved into the business object so for that we need to use a post operation so we'll select the post operation here and then click on next so select what are all the fields you wanted to get posted or saved so i'm selecting here first name last name date of birth email address and mobile number and remaining columns like id last name uh, last updated by last updated date creation by created date will be updated automatically by the system no need to enter anything for them so just click on finish so this will create you a type with this endpoint so just i am changing the name here as pt here pt is nothing but the page type or eg form i am just giving it as page type for registration form now with this type we need to create a variable so to create a variable click on variables click on variables the variable i am giving it as pv underscore you can give it any of the name ever wish here pv is nothing but page variable i am giving registration form form here the type you need to select as array data provider we'll discuss why we have taken here it as array data provider in our next classes so i am just mentioning here it as adp for just for your reference so just click on create so this will create you a variable with the object which you have created in the earlier screen so now go to the type and select the type which you have created in the earlier screen and just select in the from the key attributes select index we'll discuss this later in our uh, array data provider classes okay now we need to create the page variables for all the fields which have which we are having in the page so we we'll, let's create them one by one first i am creating it as first name is a string so it will not allow any spaces so click on create next i am creating last name next we'll create date of birth that also i'm taking it as string next i'm taking it as mobile number let the mobile number be number data type create new and next this is the email so this will be the string create so you can see here first name last name date of birth email address and mobile number these are all the page variables which you, we have created so we'll assign these uh, page variables to the uh, front end form where we have created now to create the front end form go to the page designer and first we need to drop a input text 
so search for input text you'll see the input text here right so just drag it to the right side let's do it in the designer mode it's until here and let's provide this thing as first first name and label text has first name and label hint as enter first name enter first name now we'll drag the next this will say it as last name and let's label we last name and label hint will be the enter enter last name now we'll map the page variables which we have created in the data in the function you can see first name right first name we'll assign that for the last name we'll assign the last name and similarly we'll create the remaining fields so I have created the remaining columns and I have mapped to the uh, particular uh, uh, data variable mobile number I have mapped to the mobile number email address I have mapped to the email address date of birth I have mapped to the date of birth now we need to create a submit button to submit this data so now search for the button from the components For this button i'm giving the name as save to save the data now here we have a important thing which we need to notice right whenever you hit on save then the data should be saved into the business object which you have created so now you want to link your form and your business object here the business object is nothing but the table so the linking will happen on the save button so select the save button go to events a new events click on oj actions now first we'll assign the data which we got from the page variables to the array data provider which we have created on the save action so to do this we need to drag a component called assign variables so drag the assign variables component to here and click on assign now if you see the left side this is our source and the right side which you are seeing is your target now our motive is to map the data from page variables to the array data provider so our source will be first name last name email mobile number date of birth on the source page should be mapped to the array data provider on the target page so let's do this so here you can see pv requisition adp which is our data provider which we have created so map the things accordingly so i'm mapping the date of birth to 
date of birth email address to email address first name to first name last name to last name mobile number to mobile number so once this is done click on save so this will assign the values which you have entered in the page will be got assigned to the array data provider variable which you have created now we need to post the data from array data provider to our business object which you have created so to do that now we need to call one more component here that is call rest so select this call rest and drag it to the plus so this will assign you the call rest here you need to select the endpoint as you know our endpoint is our business object from the business object drop down list select the business object with the post method now we need to assign the data to the business object so to do this here go to body click on the body as we seen earlier our left side would be the source and right side would be the target here now our source is the array data provider and our target is the business object that is the rest api which you are calling so from here will map to the body that's it now whenever you get a success like whenever the data got loaded successfully then we will inform that data got it loaded successfully so to do that we'll just fire a notification just drag and drop the notification and just we'll give a notification summary as confirmation and in the message i'm giving it as data saved data saved successfully data saved successfully and the notification type i am giving it as confirmation so once this is done just run the application and see whether you are able to save your data from the front end to do this click on preview button so this will preview your application now enter the first name so i am entering my first name as vishwanath last name is mobile number i am entering as so email address i am entering the email address for example if you see if i only enter abc then i went so it is saying the format is incorrect so it is expecting the the email address format so let's enter at the rate gmail.com and now select the date of birth so i'm selecting some date of birth from this and then click on save so you got a confirmation message saying data got saved now go to the business object and check in the data so you will able to see your data whatever we have entered there you are able to see it in the back end this is a simple form where you have been created to enter the enter the data and the data which you have entered in the form has been saved into the business object here we'll add one more feature whenever you click on save button here we'll show a some progress bar saying that some progress is happening so to do that we need to add a dialog box so for that from the component list select dialog and drag and drop to anywhere on the page the dialog box has been dropped 
so now just click on show so that the dialog box will be shown so now i am making the dialog box title as please wait So you see the dialog box name got changed. Now I am dragging a drop one paragraph field here to just add some text. So here I am saying that data getting save saved. Please wait. Can see this and I don't required this button and all will remove it now I just want to show some progress bar here that some progress is happening so for that we'll select the progress bar and drag and drop the progress bar here so now go to the data and provide value as under uh, maximum as 100 value as minus 1 so you see if you go on live you can see some animation happening there and let's remove this button and let's remove this button component as well and this progress bar will, sub will not support in the basic theme so I'm just shifting my theme to other thing. So to change your theme, go to web apps, settings. In the theme, I'm selecting as Redwood Stable. Now, of this uh, overridden, uh, select the save button. Go to events, click on this. Uh, button action chain and add the weight screen to your uh, action chain so to do this we need to use the uh, component called call component so select the call component and drag after start before assigning the variables and from the in the components from the drop down list select please wait whichever the component dialog box which you have created and in the method name select as open drag it after uh, your success and select same please wait and close the component and similar way when it is added out do the same thing we will just do the testing So enter some name just entering this Mahesh Kumar phone number and enter email ID so said click on save you can see the dialog box is coming it is getting saved so this is how we can create a simple form in the vbcs thank you